Hi, everybody. We did it. We knocked out the Jaspies eight box slam dunk basketball mixer, a random team break, 30 spot break, no vet commons chip. These are the boxes involved here. And at the end of the break, we're going to re-randomize your names. And we're going to give away a wax party spot first. And then we'll create a whole new list, big second list, and we'll give away the Jordan Fleer. PSA 6, a 1986. Here, well, I'll just show it to you. 1986 Fleer basketball, Michael Jordan. PSA 6, which, uh, which even for a 6, still goes for like, what, four, four and a half thousand dollars At least as of, as of uh, April 10th, 2020. In case you're watching from the future and you're like, no way, man, that's a lot more. <laughs> But back in 2022, that, that's kind of the approximate price, give or take. All right. Uh, one other note. We do have a collegiate jersey in this break. So that'll go by our no checklist rule. So it'll go to the team they play for currently if they're active and the team they play for the longest if they're retired. All right. Well, big thanks to this group for getting into the action. I appreciate it. Uh, thanks to the people who bought their spots straight up, and we only ended up doing just two fillers. I think we had planned for more, but the straight up spots were flying off the shelves. So thanks to the people who took the risk on the fillers. Congrats against, again to the winners. Thanks to the people who bought their spots straight up. All teams are in. I don't think I put this in the title of my spreadsheet. I was a little eager here to get into this break. So There you go, Sunday 10th, 2022. Let's go. Let's roll it. Randomize names and teams. Six and a six, 12 times. One, two, three, four, five, six. And 12th and final time. So Steve Burke's down to Kennard. Six and a six. 12 times for the teams. One, two. And 12th and final time. So there's 12 right there. There's 12 right here. We've got the Bulls down to the ATL, Atlanta Hawks. All right, Steve with the Bulls, Mac with the Wizards, Austin with the Blazers, Jimmy with the Nets, Steve with the Spurs, John with the Rockets and Knicks, Austin with the Pacers, Jimmy with the Sixers, Steve with the Magic, Justin with the Cavs, Jimmy with the Celtics, Brian with the Raptors, John with the Jazz, Dusty with the Bucks, Jesse with my Lakers, Steve with the Pistons, Jesse with the Clippers, Steve with the Kings and Mavs, Jared with the Grizz, Matthew with the Nuggets, Dwayne with the Suns, Nick Stover with the Charlotte Hornets. Are there some 2020, 2021 box in here? Maybe one or two? Brian with the Heat, Nick with the Warriors, Jason with the Thunder, uh, Josh with the Pelicans, John with the T-Wolves, and Kennard with the Hawks. So a lot of different years, too. So I see 17, 18. Is that 18, 19? No, that's 2021. Uh, there's a few different years in here, so trade at your own risk. So let's sort by team name. We're going to pause the video just for a moment. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades. Then we'll have the break. Stick around. BRB. All right, welcome back, folks. No deals were done, so onwards. Again, thank you, everybody, for uh, for getting into it. Remember, one dice, uh, one list will be for the wax party, and a second list will do a randomizer of all your names again for the MJ. It's gonna be pretty nice. All right, uh, let's just start with these loose boxes here, and then we'll do the jersey and finish off with the basketball. If there's some people still around by then, we'll do a little bit of who am I, maybe a little guessing game for bragging rights. America's favorite game. No one else does a who am I game, only, only Jaspies.
All right. Thanks, everybody, for getting in. Might see Ben Simmons in the playoffs. There's Buddy Healed. Autograph. Established autographs. Buddy Healed. On card auto for the Kings. That's going to go to Steve Birch, Sacramento. Nice. There's a rookie LaMelo ball. And an Anthony Edwards. And a Moses Brown rookie silver. I think, if I remember correctly, the Chronicle, the Prism, almost acts as like an update set or something like that. So that's part of it. Uh, that Moses Brown will go to OKC. That'll be for Jason. There's the Anthony Edwards in that Phoenix design for the T-Wolves and LaBello in that marquee design. So T-Wolves, John, Hornets, Nick Stover. Last spot mojo. Got Anthony Edwards numbered to 149 and Sadiq Bay to 99. So nice and nice numbered Anthony Edwards in that luminance design, which I really like. That'll be for John and the T Wolves. And that is 46 out of 149. We've got uh, Jaden McDaniels, two, uh, 23, that is, out of 49. Another one from Minnesota. And we got a Gabe Vincent autograph, 155 out of 199. Hometown Heroes, rookie auto for Miami. Brian Frank with the Heat. All right, nice start. Next box, maybe some hoops, some hoops hybrid. Also, uh, this is our last break of the night, but I think Teddy is still alive on Instagram. So if you go to at Jaspi's Breaks on Instagram, he might he might have some time to do a quick uh, box or two with you, a personal box before he signs off. So go say hi to Teddy. Or you can hang out with me here. Looks like uh, Frank Vogel of the Lakers is going to be is going to be fired on Monday, but the reports are already out there, which kind of sucks for Frank Vogel. I mean, at least at least kind of keep try to keep that in house before before that. I guess the writing was on the wall. Doncic suffers a calf strain in the regular season finale. Interesting. Tybal not uh, not uh, eligible for games in 76ers in Toronto. Simmons could return in that round one. Joel Embiid, scoring title for him. There's rookie Zion right here. High voltage LeBron James. Yeah, and then there's LeBron James and Anthony Davis. Let's see how the Lakers retool next year, if they can. Zion, rookie card, going to Josh Melton with Nolens. I guess, I guess he won't be playing. I don't know if he's playing this year. So we'll see. It's Harry Giles, red. Gorgie Dieng to 99, green. Not having Kendrick Nunn this year was, you know, he was supposed to contribute some meaningful minutes, maybe next year for him. I think he's on a two-year deal. 
There's Josh Henson to 35 and a Kobe White rookie card for the Bulls. That'll be for Steve Birch. All right, how about another uh, hybrid box? This time 2020-2021 Donner's Optic Basketball. Now, how does the... Uh, I don't think I know how, th I'm not familiar with how this play in, all these playing games work. Well, ESPN is, apparently has everything I need to know. Okay, so I can just, kind of just tell by the schedule. Right? Blah, 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 playing format, held held for the first time, blah, 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 the play, the playing tournament adds an exciting room to the end of the season, teams are already incentivized, hang on, blah, blah, blah. So, in the East, the number eight Cavs will play the number seven Nets. And game two is the Hornets and Hawks. And then there's a game three, the winner of game two, Hornets or Hawks, plays a loser of game one. The winner of game two, Hornets Hawks, plays a loser of uh, game one. Cavs and Nets. And then the winner of game one will face the E7 seed, face the Boston for, faces Boston in the first round. Winner of game three will then be the eighth seed and face the Heat in the first round. Spencer Dinwiddie, Paul George, Paul Sar. James Ramsey, James Weissman. Ooh, I thought this was going to be LaMelo for a second, but Grant Riller still going, going to you, Nick. Laurie Markinen and Donovan Mitchell. All right, so nothing too crazy in that box. Let's, uh, should we go back in time a little bit to 1718? This is, I think this is Donovan Mitchell rookie class, right? Donovan Mitchell and Jason Tatum. So this is a 1718 Donner's Optic Mega Box. So the loser of game one, Cavs and Nets, actually has a second chance because they'll play in... Uh, so seed seven and eight have a second chance. And seed nine and ten will have to win two. Right, they're game two and then game three. Okay, I think I get that. Okay, playing tournament, Western Conference. Number eight, Clippers facing the T-Wolves. That's the 8-7 matchup. The 10-9 the matchup is San Antonio at New Orleans. And then San, the winner of Spurs New Orleans will have to beat the loser of Clippers T-Wolves. Winner of the first game, Clippers T-Wolves, will, uh, will be the West 7 seed and face Memphis. And the winner of game three, so that, that could be any of those four teams, will be... Uh, will be the A seed and face the Suns. Hey, there's Donovan Mitchell. Nice. And Jason Tatum. Nice. I'll take it. All right, not bad, not bad, not bad. So these are these are the parallels exclusive to this mega box set. So Boston, Jimmy K with the C's. Nice. Hopefully he does well in the playoffs. 
Same with uh, same with Donovan Mitchell. Utah Jazz. John, uh, yeah, John with the Utah Jazz. There you go. Same with Donovan Mitchell. That'd be hashtag good for the hobby. So I know the East was pretty, pretty, pretty packed. Let's see how, how did it shake out? So Miami ends up with the top seed, it looks like, right? 53 and 29. And I guess some, due to some sort of tiebreaker, Celtics are ahead of the Bucks and the Sixers. They've all, they all have 60, 51 games. Must be some head-to-head -head matchup or something like that. These are just little security tag stickers. These retail boxes. So it's Heat, Celtics, Bucks, Sixers, Raptors, and Bulls. One through six. And in the West, it's uh, Suns, Grizzlies, Warriors, Mavs, Jazz, and Nuggets. One through six. Exciting. Uh, NBA playoffs are always are always fun. All right. Good luck. There's an Anthony Edwards rookie. And that Marcus Aldridge not numbered, but a cool parallel. Miles Turner. And then Anthony Edwards. Look at that. That's the uh, green and purple. I don't know what, it, know what they're, they're called. Anyway, cool stuff. John, Timberwolves. Nice. Gets that two-color parallel. And another rookie card, Anthony Edwards. I think both of these are concourse level for select. Got a Tyrese Halliburton and Oladipo back there. Not bad, not bad. All right, 2020, 2021 Prism Basketball Blaster. Good luck. The mock draft, brought to you by DraftKings. Another Anthony Edwards, it's an in, in, instant impact insert. There's Ish Smith, Kuz. And Anthony Edwards, since he's in the playoffs, he has some good playoff games. I mean, if, if the Timberwolves win a series, the stock will surely, surely rise. And Kyle Kuzma, piece of his jersey. I feel like the Lakers could have kept their entire squad the same and done just as well. There's a silver Uduka, Azubuike. The Jazz are in the playoffs, so you never know. This guy might get some minutes, and all of a sudden, his value goes up. All right. We'll see your values go up. Okay, Jersey, College Basketball Edition. We're almost there. All right, I don't know if anybody is awake right now, late on a Sunday night, but we'll do a quick round of who am I, see if anyone's awake.
Okay, okay. Okay. Who am I? Um... Who am I? Who am I? Former uh, eighth overall pick in the early 2000s. Played for one, two, three, four teams my entire career. I was an NBA All-Rookie second team in 04. Um, I think made, made, made most of my noise in college. Naismith Player of the Year in 2003. John R. Wooden Award in 2003. Sporting News Player of the Year in 2003. Consensus First Team All-American in 2003. First team all Big 12. That might give it away to some people. NCAA season's assist leader in 2002. My number retired by my college. Um, yeah, in, in 2003, the sophomore was third in the nation in assists with 7.7 .7 a game and led this team in scoring assists and steals on a Big 12 team. To honor me, my, my jersey was retired. My jersey number 11 was retired by this university, making me the fourth University of Texas athlete. Does that give it away? In any sport, and the first basketball player to have such an honor joining Earl Campbell, Ricky Williams, and Roger Clemens. Nice. What else? What else? What else? Selected by the Bucks. In the first round. Is that the team I played for the longest? I need to look that up too. It's my college jersey. No one's going to venture a guess, right? Selected eighth overall in 2003 by the Bucks. Recurring back injuries resulted in missing many games in three seasons with the Bucks, but in 05, was fit to play again. Then I was traded to the Raptors. Established myself as a starting point guard, helping the team win the Atlantic Division, reached the 2007 NBA playoffs, but following an injury had, you know, some difficulties, blah, 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 blah. He played for the uh, Indiana Pacers the longest, played with them for three seasons. It's TJ Ford, and it's his Texas gear. So you got the, uh, the TriStar card right there. You got his autograph. You got a little inscription. And his number number eleven in the rafters. TJ Ford College Custom Jersey, and again played three seasons for the Pacers. Played with them the longest. So that's gonna go to Austin Phillips. All right, there you go. Part of that mixer. All right, and last but not least, it's the basketball. the name of the player on the inside of the box. And again, this is also our no checklist rule, just like the jersey. Uh, I played in the NBA from 1990 to uh, 1990 to the early 2000s, to, to 2002, 2003. Um, 
played six seasons with the Warriors, six seasons with Miami, but played more. The tiebreaker is going to be games. And he played uh, 422 games for Golden State and 367 for Miami. So it's going to go to Golden State. So that will be for Nick Stover with the Warriors. So who am I, Nick Stover and everybody else? He's a Hall of Famer, five-time All-Star, five-time All-NBA, 89-90 All-Rookie. Uh, went to Texas El Paso and was the 14th overall pick by the Warriors in the 1989 draft. And I have a son who currently plays for the NBA. I, fin I finished with a career 17.7 points a game, 3.3 rebounds, 8.2 assists, 43% uh, from the field, 35% from three, 78% from the free throw line. Hall of Famer. He's pretty good. And I got a son in the NBA. D's nuts. Got him. Tim Hardaway Sr., Kevin. Not Junior, Sr. Junior's not a Hall of Famer yet. There you go, Kevin. Has retracted. Get this basketball out. I don't want to screw around with the auto. There it is. Nice basketball. I think is that is that the way the autograph goes? Yeah. There's the H, right? Yeah, we'll go with the auto correct. I don't know how to really show this, but I guess I can just turn this camera over here. I try to take the sticker off, didn't work. Tim Hardaway Sr., right there. You can see the SR right there. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That goes to, uh, once again, that goes to Nick Stober, who got randomized the Warriors. Now, the big, the big thing. Who's gonna win the Jordan? Two different lists for Wax Party and the Jordan. Uh, by the way, we use basketballreference.com for that, um, for uh, the team. All right, so let's flip back to the list. So again, we're going to give away the Wax Party first and then give away the Jordan, the, the rookie Jordan. So one, but one dice roll for both lists. Let's gather everybody's names. And let's, this is the first list. This is the Wax Party. Good luck. Chance to win a case of NT basketball after six times. Five and a one. Wax Party. One, two, three, four, five and a one. Five and a one. Six and final time. Fingers crossed. Good luck. A lot of sad spots. Two through 30. Sad. Saddest of all. Jimmy. Very close. Not quite though. We'll get him next time. But happy times for Steve Birch with the spot that he won in the filler after six times. Let's get you in here. Boom. Eight box NBA mixer on a Sunday. We gave away a lot of uh, a lot of wax party spots tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Appreciate that. All right. Now the second list, five and a one, six times. That's for the Michael Jordan. Name on top. We'll get the Jordan after six. Good luck. Five and a one. One. Two, three, four, 
five and a one, sixth and final time. After six. Oh, Dwayne, so close. So close, Dwayne, but thanks, thanks to you and everybody for giving this a shot, appreciate it. But there can be only one. Happy times for Steve Birch with a different spot that he won from a different filler break. After six times, you get the MJ. Congrats to you. You got the wax party and the MJ. 1986 Fleer basketball, rookie card, PSA 6, still for $4,500 as of April 10th, 2022. I mean, this is like you put this in a safety deposit box, you just let that sit forever. I would think. It's like holding art. The value should, should go up, I guess, or just at least stay steady. Be pretty nice. All right, there you go. Steve, thank you very much. Thanks, everybody. I really appreciate everybody digging deep on this mixer, getting all those fillers knocked out, and eventually allowing us to give away a couple nice things. Pre uh, really appreciate it. We've got a ton of wax party spots still left, but we're a lot closer than you think. So check out the details on jazbeescasebreaks.com. You can see the whole list of things that were given away. If you win a spot, you're going to be guaranteed something. Thanks, everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.